Hi and welcome back to Chili Product Trials and Tribulations. This is episode number 74. Okay, I changed my mind. I was going to do go, go back to hot sauces, but I thought, well, it's it's still the chili pepper time of the year, so I'm going to do another one or two or three. I, I don't know yet. But today we have the little Thai pepper. If you could see that, it's very, very small. But from what I understand, they pack quite a punch. Now, ties are are, are, are used a, a lot in, in Asian restaurants, and, and and you can find the, the these peppers at you know Thai and in, in Vietnamese specialty shops. So, um, yeah, so, so we'll see how, how this goes. The, these range from about 50 to 100,000, so it's probably going to pack a little bit of a punch, but we'll see. Anyway, here we go. One, two, three. Okay, definitely smallest chili pepper we've had so far, but also the worst tasting. Wow, that is bitter. Whew. Give me the hiccups. Well, it does pack a little bit of heat. Actually, a fair degree of heat, to tell you the honest truth. Wow. Mostly on the tongue. center of the tongue. It's mostly in one spot. But where it is, it's hitting pretty good. Uh, man, I did not like the taste of that at all. That was, that was very bitter. I mean, really bitter. I, I could tell that had a lot of seeds in it. Let me tell you guys something, if, if, if you don't know this, chili seeds are not what make a pepper hot. But if there's a lot of them inside the chili, they can make them very bitter. So, of course I, I choose to, to, to eat the whole thing with seeds and all because I want to get the complete picture. But uh, yeah. The heat, though, is definitely not as hot as the last pepper. The uh, the, the fatale, it's definitely not in that range. Um, but for for how small it was, it it it, it does pack a good heat. It's not mild at all. Uh, now. My upper and lower gums are, are starting to burn, uh, as well as my bottom lip. So, yeah, that was definitely kind of surprising. It, uh, I got a little bit more out of that than, than, than I expected. Oh well, but, but again, Flavor, too bitter for me. I'm even getting a little bit of saliva building up. Not much. Uh, 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 for the most part, it's 
it's not bad at all. I mean, okay, so we've done four peppers at, in a row. So, so let's recap. We started on the hottest note, the the, the seven pot Jonah, a crazy, crazy hot, blazing, fiery pepper. One of the hottest peppers I ever ate almost strangled my throat, it felt like. And just, you know, a total, uh, total endorphin rush. The face vibrating, everything, man, that was crazy. Then we moved over to the very tasty. Oh, I forgot to mention the Jonah was a very floral tasting pepper. That, that flavor is hard to describe. You have to eat it to know. Then, like I said, we went over to the Fresno, which was the the mildest of the four, which, but the best tasting. That had a nice fruity taste, very in, in, enjoyable. Then we went to the very hot Yellow Fatale. Uh, it, it, it had a citrusy flavor. Good heat all over the mouth. It it burned a covered area, every area of the mouth. Didn't hit the back of the throat too hard. Not as hot as the the, the seven pot, and and definitely without a doubt, my favorite of the four when you combine flavor and heat. And then we we ran into this little guy, the Thai, which was it had a which was a little bit hotter than the Fresno, uh, but it, ha it ha had a very bitter and nasty taste. So, we, we may do another pepper or two in, in, in the next shows, we'll see. Well, thank you all for watching, and have a great day.